everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's Lydia Kazawa here, and today we're going to be getting into some VTuber newsy news. But before we get into the VTuber newsy news, please make sure to subscribe to my other channels. We have Lydia VTuber Plays, Lydia Nekozawa Clips, and Lydia Nekozawa Cooks. Thank you so much! Alright, on to our first piece of newsy news. This is Momo Suzu Nene. Most people just call her Nene. So who is Nene? Nene is a female Japanese virtual YouTuber associated with Hololive. So this is Nene. Why are we talking about Nene? Well, we've had some interesting news about Nene. So this is on the Hololive Twitter slash X account. Here, here's the actual translation of it. Let's read it. So it says, Notice of suspension of some activities. Regarding the activities of Nene, who belongs to our company, this is a message to all fans who support us on a daily basis. After discussing future activities with Nene herself, we have decided to suspend her distribution activities and SNS for the time being. Regarding plans and events that have already been announced, we plan to appear based on the individual's wishes. Regarding inquiries regarding this matter, please refrain from making direct inquiries to our affiliated talent. We apologize for any inconvenience caused to our fans, but we ask for your continued support of Nene. So, what does that mean? This is uh, directly from her. It's translated from Google, so it might not be the greatest. But anyways, this is a Momo Suzu Nene. And she says, posting on behalf of others. I'm so sorry that everyone had to suddenly cancel their streams and go on hiatus. The problem turned out to be bigger than I had expected. But I'll be back soon. I'll definitely come back, so don't forget to wait for me. I might keep you worried for a while, but please look back on all the archives and wait. So it sounds temporary. Sounds like she's going to be back. So what do the people on Reddit got to say? Well, this is posted on the Hollow Life subreddit, posted by Cartoon Monster. Here is some people on Reddit, their opinions, and maybe what might be happening. Cute1745 says, Last week or so, I can't remember, she scheduled a singing stream, and suddenly she just canceled it and disappeared without saying a word. This has caused massive concern amongst her fan base. A few days later, she tweeted apologizing for not saying a word and she'll explain the situation soon, saying it's a funny story. Obviously, I don't know what happened, but I hope her mental health is okay. From her posts on YouTube and Twitter, I found her a bit unstable mentally. I hope this break will help her relax more. I don't know what to say. I just hope the best for Nechi. She, like all other Hollow Life talents, deserved the best. Edit. Nene just tweeted saying she has to take a hiatus to resolve personal problems and wait for her return. Let's go and give her some comfort words. And this person said, um, she definitely seems like the most mentally unstable talent, at least lately. I remember her being super depressed when she perma died in the HC Minecraft event. And then her tweets when A-chan announced her graduation also made it sound like she's really not doing great mentally. And then the random cancellations of streams lately. I think this goes beyond her needing a break from activities. I hope she gets help from actual professional because this sort of flip-flopping is definitely a pattern. And then this person says, she had depression in the past and was medicating. This is what the people on Reddit are speculating. This is just speculation at this point. There's nothing official from her or from Hololive as well. So anyways, that's just, that's just what the people on Reddit are saying. Okay. Excellent. On to our next piece of newsy news. So, uh, you'll remember we talked about Ike and Ike's fan base, the Quildren, right? So if you remember, this person was like, uh, Ike cried to Vox, uh, you know, before his first karaoke stream. And he's like, I never cried <laughs> before karaoke. So anyways, the, the males of Niji are trying to combat their own toxic fan base. This is this has been something that's been happening for a little bit. However, there's been an update on this person, uh, Ruka Lee. So this post on the Kurosanji subreddit, and this is posted by Niji Sociopathy. It says, sociopaths are eating each other again. Oh, no. There's definitely infighting within the fandom itself. So let's take a look at what this says. Okay, Rika Lee says, I want to start by saying I do not wish for any person involved here to be harassed. One week ago, I made a mistake. I was called out by Ike, and I quickly deleted and apologized. And since then, so many people have, uh, quote, retreated his post, telling me, if that was me, I would have ended myself. If that was me, I would have changed my entire identity and gone away. Some of these posts had hundreds of likes and many replying agreeing with their own versions as well. Worst of all, I know those people didn't mean it that way. I've been here for almost three years. I saw many of those in chat. Some I talked to, some were moots, some I even looked into. 
That's why I knew they didn't mean for those words to be death threats. But it truly hurts when people who knew me still think that it's funny to point at me and say, if I was you, I would have uh, yeeted myself. At one point, I quote retreated one of them with the uh, quilling myself and thought to leave it as my final word on this account. Never log back here again, leaving it to interpretation, but I pulled myself through it. How could you do that to me? Two years and a half, I've been in this fandom. I've been nothing but loyal and dedicated. All the merches, all the supas, arts, projects, everything I did, my entire existence on this account for almost three years, yet one mistake, and you guys threw me to the wolves. If you think telling your friend, if I was you, I would have yeeted myself. Ask yourself, would you still be laughing if the last message you received from that friend is, I'm quilling myself? Of all people, you think... I would undermine Ike on purpose. And here's proof of all the merch here. Me doing that to Ike, you guys threw me to the trash can knowing I already received death threats just by being a Niji fan. Now Kyo made a video and his hyenas along with 4chan and Reddit are out to get me. I've been holding it in this entire week just so that I won't mess up Ike's 3D debut. But there wasn't a day that went by that I didn't cry. That said, I know none of you guys meant it that way. You guys just didn't think it through. Just like I didn't think through it when I first tweeted that thing and Ike saw it. So please, I don't wish for anyone to be cornered like the way I was. Don't try to find anyone in my post. Don't mention them. Don't do anything to them. I'll go instead. So don't raise your pitchfork for someone that won't be here anymore. I don't feel safe in this place anymore. Every day I ask myself, what would I do in the future? People keep posting Ike's tweet to my face saying, if that was me, I would have yeeted myself. What would I do if the next time I made some unintentional mistake, Ike also replied to me with something similar? Can I trust myself to never be careless like that? I thought and thought, and I tried to ask for help to see if I could make things better, yet I couldn't find an answer. Reddit and 4chan already hate me. Now with Kyo's video, it can only get worse. The yeet threats have been getting me for a while, but this probably is the final nail in the coffin. So this is my final post to let you know that the post was indeed an honest mistake. Lord knows I'm the last to undermine Ike's success. Ask my moots about the, all the art I made. Ask my family about the merch I bought. Ask all the project managers about how much I contributed. Heck, even some of the people telling me to yeet had messages of our friendship. No, they know I'm the furthest thing from a fake quildren, despite kicking me to the curb. And lastly, thank you for reading this much. Many people have sent me supportive messages in the past few days, and I appreciate you all. Without you, I wouldn't manage to hold it in until this day. So that is, holy moly, that's a lot. Are you surprised that a toxic company would generate a toxic fan base, and then the fa fan base would turn on each other? No, not a surprise. However, what surprise, the call is coming from within the house, right? It's It's like... This person is not only getting dogpiled by, you know, the the uh, the people who don't like Niji, but they're also getting dogpiled by their own fan base themselves. So I can see that being kind of a bummer. It's bad companies with toxic fan bases. Eventually, uh, cannibalism shall happen. And it's a very Lord of the Flies situation. Let's read a couple comments here. I hope this person gets out of the parasocial life and finds an identity outside of the one chained with a VTuber streamer celeb. Maybe this is the gateway towards sanity. And this person says, Jesus, the male livers need to wrangle both spectrums of their fan base. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is Suzuya Aki. So who is Suzuya Aki? Suzuya is a male uh, Japanese virtual YouTuber and a member of Niji Sanji's first generation. So why are we talking about Aki? Well... This is posted on the Kurosanji subreddit and posted by Canon Gerbil. And it says, another Niji JP first gen is graduating. Okay, so this is from the actual Niji Sanji Twitter slash X account. And it says, graduation report. We are pleased to announce that our live streamer, Suzuya Aki, will be graduating on August 31st, 2024. Let's see the actual translation here. Aki Suzuya graduation report. Thank you very much for your continued support of the virtual liver group Niji Sanji and Niji Sanji EN. As, as, as of August 31st, 2024, our affiliated liver Aki Suzia will be graduating from Niji Sanji. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to all the fans from all over the world and everyone involved in supporting Aki Suzia and supporting her activities. 
Since her debut on February 8th, 2018, Aki Suzia has supported Niju Sanji in its early days as a first generation member. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to you for continuing to be Niji Sanji's Hidamari with your honest, bright personality and love of songs and cats. Please note that SNS, such as YouTube membership and X, formerly Twitter, will become private on August 31st, 2024, and fan clubs will become private on September 30th, 2024. We will also gradually stop selling content such as goods and voices. We plan to continue making an archive on YouTube available to the public even after graduation. Oh, that's a surprise. With the exception of some videos. What does that mean? Fan letters will also be accepted until September 30th, 2024. So this is a graduation that's interesting because why are you leaving? Why are you leaving? Unless you're not having a great time. It's really sad to see like the first generation go because these are the people that essentially the company was built on their shoulders, right? Let's see what the people on Reddit got to say. He and Mori I once tweeted, Ayo Sakura, Yuki Chihiro, after the reincarnation and got criticized by Niji Sanji Defense Force as traitors. Moira went hiatus after that and now it's his turn. The graduation waitlist continues, dot, dot, dot. It's unclear as to whether or not they will continue under PL, but definitely we're wishing them all the best in their graduation. And congratulations on leaving a terrible company because I can't imagine with everything that's happened, they've probably had the... I'm assuming the people in the first generation may have had the brunt of all the bad things that happened. All right. Excellent. On to our next piece of newsy news. All right. This is posted on the Kurosanji subreddit, and this is posted by Scratch Critical 6892, and it says graveyard. Essentially, this is the Niji Sanji graveyard. And there's quite a bit of corpses here, guys. So it's really interesting to see how many people have been churned by the Niji Sanji meat grinder. It's a little bit crazy that Niji has been able to just kind of like mow over all these people is really nuts and here it says nothing to see here just any color enjoying the human gacha <laughs> no the only thing that that kind of bothers me too is that like imagine all of the hard work that it took for like the artist to make this you know the the talent to come on you know the the onboarding all that stuff like just to like push these people out it just it seems like a lot more work than just actually taking a talent and like nurturing them Anyways, that's just that's just my opinion. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of lot of bodies hit the floor. A lot of bodies hit the floor. It's bad. It's very bad. Okay, on to our next piece of newsy news. So if you remember, there was a big controversy with Copium merch. And do you remember we're kind of screwing people over when it came to merch? And then Vite Ramen uh, ended up coming in and saving the day. They're like, hey, don't worry. Um, Amelie, Bao, Yuzu orders. Vite Ramen's here. We're going to help with all the back orders going forward. We're going to make sure like all the, the merch is, is taken care of. When VTubers sell merch, that is a good majority of their income. Vite Ramen came in and saved the day. You're like, oh my God, Vite Ramen, thank you so much. This is incredible. However, Vite Ramen is running into some problems. Because when you do good in this world, for some reason, you get punished. All right, let's 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 read. Vite Ramen says, we're writing about a problem encountered with Lee and Lai, Bao VTuber, and... Orders that were inherited from the previous company working on them. Please note that this does not affect any orders that were placed in 2024. Since the beginning of the situation, we have been trying our best to assist with what we can. We know we haven't been perfect with everything, as there were a lot more problems that were hidden beneath the service that we had to untangle. Trying to work through disconnected systems that aren't ours is extremely time consuming and we could only do so much at once. Still, at this point, we've been able to deal with the mass majority of problems, tracking them down little by little, one by one. It's been a long and exhausting process. Yeah, so this is like they're already they're already doing amazing just by trying to like, you know, help the fan base out. But here, this is where it gets worse. But what we didn't realize is that by taking over and helping with this process, every refund, every return, everything we were doing to help out was lowering our Shopify merchant trust. By doing, by trying to do good, we were being penalized and punished. As of the time of writing, our payout accounts are frozen, including our main Vite Ramen Shopify with about $60,000 held by Shopify for quote unquote safety. These funds were to be held for 120 days, as were all other payouts from the store we helped manage, meaning funds that we've received from orders would not be in our bank account until November. Guys, it's it's July. Like, that's insane. 
This is an extremely serious problem. Perhaps unsurprisingly, if we have to wait 120 days to receive money from an order, we cannot function as a business. Yeah, that's crazy. This has not been communicated to us well at all with Onigiri Onimart somehow getting the email about it when there's only been a total of three refunds total since Onimart began in 2022. We have not received any communication from Shopify otherwise about the other accounts affected and the payouts are being held there as well. I've contacted Shopify support many, many times and I've been told it's escalated and there's nothing more we can do. Yeah, super helpful. Great. Frustratingly, because of this, we are currently unable to provide refunds and additional support with our old orders from the previous company. If we continue trying to help, then our account will presumably fall into further poor standing with further penalties and problems levied against us. Even now, we're struggling to figure out what we're going to be doing with the payout holds and other restrictions. We will be searching for other solutions and ways to help, but for the time being, we will be stuck. Shopify, if you're seeing this, and we would very much like to resolve the issue at hand. We've been very happy with Shopify as a platform thus far, but this situation is extremely upsetting since we're being punished and restricted for trying to do good in the world. I understand this is something that is difficult to see with the systems that you have, and it's extremely unique and an uncommon scenario. I'd like to request that we can be allowed to continue helping others without being penalized for it. And then here it says, Shopify, help us. And it says, payouts are on hold. We're being punished for helping people. We want to try... We want to keep trying to help people. Please keep let us doing that. This is one of our stores. Unfortunately, some of the affected stores no longer even show the balance that's being held for some reason, which is extremely worrying. See all these, all these VTubers like, hey, Shopify, Shopify, hello, Shopify. What are you doing, bro? So this is the, the disgusting part of the times that we live in is that you have to publicly shame these companies online in order to actually get any traction for some reason their internal customer service does not work the same goes for twitch same goes for youtube all these big companies for some reason don't have a human being at the at the helm anymore and they're like yeah automate ai stuff like that sometimes you just need a human being to be like hey hey uh this is like the one thing that's outside of the realm of what usually happens and it doesn't make any sense why i, I mean we understand money. Customer service is just, for some reason, a foreign concept to all these big corporations who have the money to have a proper customer service slash, you know, HR department slash accounting department. Like, they have the money to do this. But for some reason, they're like, nah. So you have to, like, publicly out these people, which is disgusting. And uh, so anyways, luckily, uh, everyone in the VTuber community was like, hey, Shopify, what the hell? So anyways, well done. It's so nice when everyone comes together in the VTuber community to help. Here is an update here. Vite Raman says, thank you for your help, everyone. We are now in contact with additional Shopify support and can hopefully get better responses for resolution on this complex situation. Uh, we want to stress again, it can be difficult to see from Shopify's end. And while disappointing, I understand why things have gone the way they have. Fingers crossed the responses we're getting aren't copy and paste. So <laughs> I'm hopeful, Tim. Holy moly. Well, at least, so thank goodness, at least the, the VTuber community was able to rally together and was able to help Vite Ramen. So hopefully a human being can actually like come in and, you know, help because this is ridiculous. People get punished for trying to do good in the world. That is not okay. Definitely not okay. All right. On to our next piece of newsy news. This is, this is, I thought it was so interesting. It's definitely a thing where worlds collide here. Okay, so this is posted on the Hollow Live subreddit, and this is posted by Mr. Neko. It says Hideo Kojima, uh, new work at Usada Construction. So Hideo Kojima, he is a game developer. He's best known for making the Metal Gear Solid franchise, and he's done lots of other stuff too. He's done like Snatcher, Police Nods, Zone of Enders. Like he's he's made a lot of of really awesome IPs. So he is a humongous fan of Pakora. Who knew? Uh, so I thought this was really funny. So his USADA Construction. So if you don't know what USADA Construction is, it is Pecora's construction company in Minecraft. This is our employee, Muna. Hey, Muna! It's super cute when you see them watch. It's, when you watch them together, they're really cute. Anyways, so yeah, this is Hideo Kojima, and he's a huge, huge fan of Pecora, which is very adorable, and you're like, oh my god, it's worlds colliding, and it's fantastic. All right, on to our next piece of newsy news. This is posted on the Kurosanji subreddit. This is posted by Oro Majid, and it says... Doki at Evil Final Stream with Complete Team Brawl Pro. 
This is a screenshot of her Twitter slash X account. And Doki says, Team Brawl Pro for life. Let's meet again next summer camp. Thank you for letting me experience Evo for the first time. And then Sanjem says, thanks for stopping by. You're my hero. Doki says, thanks for helping me join last minute to the watch party. Forever grateful for the invite in the slam that made some long lasting memories and friendships. And then Sanjem says, that's the hero's work from Nix Rose and Spencer Chung and the production team on stage. Happy to have you back anytime you'd like to slam. So if you don't know what Evo Finals is, this is Evo Finals. So Evo Finals is a... A big deal when it comes to fighting games. So anything fighting game happens here at EVO. It's a very big deal. And uh, so anyway, so Doki was there, which is super nice. And someone says, all she knows how to do is win. Woo! Anyways, super sweet. It's so nice to see Doki popping up everywhere. She definitely deserves all the all the praise, the love, and support. Ah, so awesome. All right, on to our, our next piece of newsy news. This is incredible. Well, this post on the Hollow Life subreddit posted by Guam Bita says, Gura reached 4.5 million subscribers. Woo! So she is like the number one VTuber in the world at uh, 4.5 million subscribers absolutely incredible and that is the end of the vtuber newsy news friends we do have someone for the vtuber spotlight though so this is synergy z altair so who is a synergy z altair your personal physicist vtuber because who said vtubers can't teach you physics you can call me z as in redshift space nerd aerospace geek programmer all in one i'm ready to quench your hunger for knowledge all videos were created and edited by me this is her youtube account and this is her Twitter slash X account. And I just want to show you one of her shorts. They're really interesting and uh, and very like, wow, it's I love space. So like any VTuber that talks about space, I think is absolutely incredible. So let's take a listen to this one. Speeding at sea, it's me, Z, your personal physicist VTuber here to explain why NASA punched an asteroid for science. <laughs> In 2016, <laughs> NASA awesome. launched the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft Ooh. to study the asteroid Bennu a 4.5 billion year old near earth asteroid preserving organic molecules that oh. may have started life here on earth wow when osiris rex arrived four years later it performed a touch and go maneuver this was really? to gather pristine samples underneath bennu's Ooh. surface now a few weeks ago scientists revealed that the samples that arrived back to earth are rich in carbon nitrogen and organic compounds oh. what's even cooler is that they found phosphates mm. could explain how water and organic molecules reached earth billions of years ago don't forget to subscribe for more physics content that is so cool that is absolutely incredible incredible oh my god i love i love learning things from vtubers it's the absolute best honestly like wow so please go support so please go support this is this is her youtube and this is her ex account okay awesome and wow i love it and i feel like i learned so much so it's absolutely incredible all right guys that's it that's the end of the vtuber newsy news thank you so much for joining me today and if you haven't already please smash subscribe on my channel and also on these additional channels lydia vtuber plays lydia nekozawa clips and lydia nekozawa cooks all right awesome thank you so much for joining me i hope you have a great day take care bye bye